Tom McEwen and Talita de Kersa in the arena. They have two fences in hand now with Alex Bragg having the two rolled poles. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a stunning jumper, this. Tom, he, he spent time in Germany with Marcus Enning jumping. It's a huge, strong phase for him. So stylish and, and so effective in this phase. Um, he's, had a, he's had a round previously today on, on Figaro, which um, will have given him confidence going into this phase. Uh, it's a horse that very rarely has a fence. Um, I'm going to be very careful not to jinx him here, but um, he's jumping a fantastic round so far. The horse has come out, as he always does, jumping magnificently. Well, in the press conference last night, Tom said he would not be on any other horse for the final show jumping phase of the Po Five Star. I and mean, it's, it's a stunning jumper, and he's jumping a stunning round here so far. Um, you see the power that it that it that it that it, eat, that it sort of leaks out of its body as it jumps through these fences. You saw it yesterday, gallop through the finish, full of running, comes out today like nothing's happened up to the last fence. Well, he had that last fence in hand anyway, but we wanted him to go clear. He certainly has. What a fantastic win for Tom McEwen and Toledo de Cursa directly in front of us here in the commentary live stream booth. They finish on a final score of 25.7, but uh, importantly, they are the winners of Lysanka Etoile de Po, the five-star eventing here down at Po, the first five-star win for Tom McEwen and for Toledo de Cursa, a horse that uh, for the last few years has performed magnificently and has uh, promised this five-star win for uh, a few years now. Yeah, his, his first five-star win, uh, obviously both right around the horse I, I promise you it will not be the last one he's absolute class the horse is absolute class you, you've seen it in three phases there and it's um, unbelievable performance I, I'm so pleased for Tom he worked so hard and he's real he's done the same as I'm trying to do come up through the ranks in these juniors throughout the British team and you know you'd think he had a real strong chance of going to Tokyo and doing well next year uh, mega performance